Hey, what's up, people? How's it going, everybody? This is Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist. Why don't we start one of these? Why don't we? Why don't we? Why don't we get one of these ones going on? One of those awesome paintings. Okay. Seems like uh, seems like the time to do it. Well, bam! Take that. <laughs> Hope everyone's having a great day so far. I hope everyone is optimistic, positive, full of uh, ganas, as we say in Spanish or in uh, Latin America, Mexico, somewhere around there. We say ganas. It means cojones. It means it means you you need to want it. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a a little landscape here, okay? For you guys and as I'm doing this as I'm pre prepping for this kind of deal right here I was uh, thinking about some of the stuff that I've been talking about lately in in um... by the way I'm using a limited palette I'm not using a very large palette okay I'll show you guys the palette at the end but it's very limited okay look at this this is like my pride and joy. It's so nasty, huh? Look at it. <laughs> this is this is from holding the brush too much. It's like a I don't know. It's gonna another finger is gonna be born out of this. <laughs> Let's hope not. This is from holding the brush like this too long. <laughs> so, anyways, um, I was thinking about this, the kind of stuff that I was talking about with you guys. And I got to think, man, what is what what is the kind of stuff that, that that prevents us, right, from moving forward, from removing the lid, taking the lid off, right, out of our our uh, the things that we want, right, the things that we want, and. Uh, it just got me thinking, right? How we use everything and anything to to use it as an excuse. As an excuse. We will use anything to use it as an excuse. We'll start talking about my job, my job, my job holds me back, right? And people are like, it's easy for you to say that, man. I've, I've heard people tell me this. It's easy for you to say that, man, because, you know, you, 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 you paint... Uh, for a living. So of course that's your job. But it wasn't my job always. You know? It wasn't always my job. And, and and that is why one of the craziness, I think, that you know, that we spread around like like yeah man, you know, if, if you just don't have your if you just wouldn't have your daytime job, you would do great painting or whatever. And the reality is that as I mentioned in other videos, dude, keep your daytime job. Keep it and use it, even if you're already monetizing on paintings, you know, or, or, or teaching art or whatever you're doing, I don't know. Keep your daytime job. Why? Because it's going to help you reach different levels than if you didn't have it. Many times we try to, we try to get out of that one, right? We try to get out of our daytime job because I know this happened to me. It was a big mistake in my part. Big, big mistake. I can't wait to leave my daytime job. Now I look back and I'm like, dude, you should have kept that thing longer. You should have kept it. Uh, if you could still have it, you know, if I could get away with working there and painting. Right? Because it's so good to have. I'm not talking about like, oh, because, you know, for whatever reason, I don't know. You're not doing well or... or no, because it's 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 extra help is what I'm trying to say. It's extra help. We think we think time is the problem, but that's not true. You either got one or the other. You either got time or you got money. You, you know, and if you got and if you got both, then then you're doing all right. You know. And being an artist, many many times we are like, man, if I just if I just had more time, right? If I just had more time. It's, it's not time that we lack, guys. We have plenty of time. That's why I said you either have one or the other. It's not time we lack. 
it's the, the, the commitment to show up and do what we, what we want to do, what we need to do, right? And that looks different for all of us. It looks very different for all of us. Because really what we're fighting against is our paradigms, you know? And this is kind of like my message all throughout my videos and whatnot. Really what we're fighting is our, is are we enough yet, you know? Are we enough? Am I enough? Am I good enough? Right? Am I good enough to show my work? Am I good enough to sell my work? Am I good enough to, to talk about my work? Because if you don't feel like you're good enough, right, you're going to have, no matter how good you get, it, it's never going to be right. It's never going to be good enough. It's never going to be right. doesn't matter. You might be learning the Flemish way of painting, you know, seven processes and whatnot to create uh, sfumato layers and on and on and on and all those cool stuff that people talk about, you know, that kind of cool stuff. You may learn how to do that. You may learn how to paint like Michelangelo or whoever your favorite artist is, whatever. But if you don't feel enough, you're going to be introverted. And you're not going to talk about your work and you're not gonna you're not going to show your work. It's going to feel painful to show your work because you're not good enough. You know? Inside, it's it's like getting uh, and I don't mean to be disrespectful in any way with this, but it's like getting plastic surgery and still feeling like you're not good enough. You know, like, oh, I don't, I, 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 I still don't feel the part, you know, uh, or, you know, whatever, right? Or, or for, in my case, right? I'm like, man, I want to get fit. I want to get, I want to get abs. You know, I'm always talking about that. I want to get some abs. But, uh, you know, if, if, if I get them and I still feel like, oh man, just, you know, I still don't feel, I still don't feel great, you know, then it's probably the wrong thing to focus on, right? I'm not saying it's bad to. <laughs> to be healthy, of course, is extremely good to be healthy. But uh, but to try to get my sense of self out of that, right? That's what I'm trying to talk about. And trying to get my sense of self out of painting better, it's not going to make you a better artist. I've proven this in my personal life. I haven't proven it with other people. But I've heard other people talk about it. Like, man, if I had your... Now, people don't say if I could paint like you. Some people say if I could paint like you, and I understand, right? Some people, some people um, like what I do. Other people don't, whatever. But some, what I hear most is if I had, you know, if I had your courage to show my my work, because I don't feel like I'm good enough. You know, I don't feel like like my work is is too part. And I'm always asking like to part to who? Like who? Who is the judge? The days where we had. Um, uh, salons, no. But this one goes in, this one doesn't. Uh, the naysayers are gone. We don't have that anymore. Today is such a uh, meritocracy, I think, that we live in. I don't know if that's good or bad. I'm not here to, to say that's good or bad. But we live in such a, such a meritocracy. That people actually judge you for your efforts today. They don't judge you for your talents. And I think that that's what makes it so confusing for so many people. It becomes so confusing. You know? There's a, I dropped a bomb right there. People do not judge you for your talents anymore. I don't even think they ever did. But at some point it felt that way, I guess, from what we understand. Or what we've been telling each other about art. People judge you for your efforts. You put in effort, you get reward. Talent is not always effort. Sometimes some people can be very talented, but if they don't put effort, it's not going to work for them. It's going to be very difficult. And they're still going to feel that I'm not enough gig thing going on in their head. You know? So, again, it's no longer, we're no longer in that time period. Right? Where, 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 where it's only talent, of course it's talent. Talent is important, of course. But whatever the hell that means, right? Because it's so different. Everybody's doing such a different thing. Everybody's doing, or everybody's doing the same thing. Call it what you want. I don't know. But uh, there's, there's, there's definitely more of us than there used to be a hundred years ago. So, so I think that making the pool bigger in humanity is, uh, is you know, it's, it's. It, it's, it helps us all in one way or another, right? 
it, and, and I'm not talking about some, <laughs> again, I'm not going off here on, on, on something else. I'm talking about the fact that there's more people showing, able to show work. There's more galleries opening. There is more pop-ups. There is online. There is even Craigslist. I talk about Craigslist. There's so many different things. And thank you so much, Prince. I really appreciate that. And there's, there's so many things that you can do now that it's no longer uh, the space for the few, right? It's no longer the space for the few. And some people want to turn it into the space for the few. Uh, or some people, you know, they, 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 some critics or whatever. But it is no longer that. You know, it's, it's, I don't think it's ever been talent. I think, I think people far more talented uh, end up eating the dust of the less talented. Because the less talented many times are more courageous about doing what they need to do. And I think that if we start looking at ourselves, now this doesn't mean that you don't put effort, okay? Because it's effort. This doesn't mean that you don't put effort, that you just, you know, just shooting from the hip and be like, oh, okay, well, you know, whatever goes. No, like, like people, people may not know how to sniff talent because it's very confusing, but people can sniff effort, right? People can be like, okay, this person, this person's work, uh, it's worth their craft. We can tell, you know, this person, it's been working their craft. It's, uh, it's kind of like a, like a, um, I don't know, sixth sense, I guess, that human beings have, right? We can smell effort. We can smell, uh, we can sniff it. Now, of course, not every single time, but for the most part, we're like, oh, okay. Yeah, I, I can see, you know, one of the reasons I think that people have such a hard time with, with big artists is because they don't go and visit their studios, right? We see the, the Damien Hirst, we see uh, one of my favorite ones. Uh, what's this cat's name? Uh, one of my favorite ones, and I don't remember his name. Jeff Koons. <laughs> if, if we, if we, whether he does it or not, right? Let's not even go into that rant. Whether he does the work or not, that's, I don't think that that's the question. But if, if we go to their studios, we see how much these cats work. How much effort they put into their, not just their craft, their their overall uh, approach, their market, uh, their marketing, their their uh, their vision, how big they blow up. You know, it's uh. Anyways, you know, just just sharing a little bit. I hope. Uh, I hope people don't get offended by this because I know some people are like, man, I hate that guy or I hate, you know, it's like, oh, come on, there's room for all of us. There's always room for all of us in different ways. Let me know if you guys like what you guys are seeing. If you guys like what you're hearing, I don't know, maybe you don't find any value. Maybe you do. If you do. I encourage you to give me some hearts. I need corazones. I live with hearts. This is the whole, this is the, this is the currency of, of um, Instagram. Give me some hearts. I don't know. I haven't figured Instagram out yet. I don't know if it's the currency, but I imagine it is. <laughs> Can anybody please tell me what the currency of, uh, what are we trading here uh, on, for, for Bally to Bally on Instagram? Because I still haven't figured it out. Oh la la. Something like that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Muchas gracias, Ana. And I'm going to put some um, some of this. This is uh, some sort of rose or magenta. I don't have magenta. I, 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 
I uh, I'm out of magenta, but like Picasso says, when you're out of magenta, when you're not when, not when you're out of magenta, what did he say? When I don't have red, I use blue, or when I don't have blue, I use red, something like that. That's a very high end uh, lesson from Picasso. He was he wasn't talking about colors in case people think he was talking about colors. Because a lot of people think to think, oh, he was talking about his blue period and his rose period there. He was not. He was talking about he doesn't have stoppers. Why? Uh, it's just intuitive for me. I don't know if it's true, okay? But I just, <laughs> that's my guess. <laughs> After spending a few hours a day for a few years in the studio, you start realizing what these cats were talking about. Because we all go through that. If you spend enough time in the studio... You start realizing certain things that uh, a lot of these guys uh, wrote about art or they, they talked about art. You start realizing certain little things. They're like, oh, that, that's why he said that. Oh, okay, I get it. Because you start living it, right? You start experiencing it. It's no longer some, some, something that you read somewhere and now becomes an experience. And you're able to relate to, to that experience, right? Something like that. Telling you guys we're going places. Check it out. Now this right here is too uh it's too it's too clean, it's too beautiful. So I need to make it a bit more dirty because we're talking about um a path. And the path that is not dirty it hasn't been walked on yet. So we need it a bit dirty. It, it can't be a path if it's not dirty. Right? If it's new, if it's not a path, then it's going to be spotless. But if it's dirty, it's a path. <laughs> and why not? Let's put a little bit of light there too. Because, you know, happy little trees, happy little light. Man, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Because I... I feel like Bob Ross here. I'm like, oh, happy little path, happy little tree right here. We don't make mistakes. We just, what is it? We make happy accidents or something like that. Sometimes I want to use my fingers, but I don't because uh, it's oil. <laughs> it's, <'cause, laughs> it's oil paint. Maybe if it was acrylic or watercolor, I'll use my fingers next time. La la, check it out. And that's how this is done, guys. Right there, right here, it says, world's greatest living artist. That's what it says. Happy accidents, I love that. <laughs> right here, it says, it says, world's greatest living artist. It's just, it's just abbreviated, but that's it. Check it out. I'm telling you guys, we're going places. One painting at a time, one painting at a time. Check it out. This is the mess that I made. Look at that green. It's real power right there, Look at that green. Can't make the scene if you ain't got the green. Look at that. Look at that rose. Permanent rose. Isn't that better than magenta? There's magenta underneath it right there. See the difference? Man, I'm one hell of an artist. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. I have to get on beast mode now. Beast mode. And I have to go do a hell of a lot of work right now because uh, I'm working on some large paintings. And I need to go set up my... my uh, exterior studio because <laughs> it's only where they fit <laughs> the back studio set up some lights it's night right now where i'm at i'm in arizona of the u.s and uh it's dark and i'm, I'm ready to paint some some big old paintings it's exciting i'm going to be doing some work if you guys if you guys don't follow me on insta on instagram on snapchat i'm all over snapchat too i'm not all over in the snapchat but i'm doing snaps every day <laughs> you guys have a, a, a Snapchat. Come on, guys. Join the party. I'm at Jose Trujillo Art. 
just like here on Instagram. It's the same username, just because I wanted to keep it uniformed. And uh, yeah, yeah, come kick it at Snapchat. I'll show you guys some cool stuff that I don't show here. Different stuff. Cool stuff that I do. Artsy fartsy stuff. Guys, thank you so much. Give me some hearts if you guys liked it. Look, I especially make this for you guys. Corazón. There you go. Thank you. Appreciate it. Take care, guys. And be awesome, okay? Stay awesome. Be awesome. Don't let this uh, negativity BS that's happening around the world over and over pull you down. I know we, we're, we're not going to save the world with paintings, but... But we're gonna we're gonna make it slightly better with our attitudes, I think. So stay positive, guys. Keep it cool. I hope I brought a little bit of happiness, a little bit of peace, a little bit of joy, maybe a little bit of thinking. Maybe uh, maybe my craziness is too much for you. I don't know. I do not know that. But if it is, it's okay. We're all a little bit off the rocker, anyways. Who isn't? Take care, guys. Adios, amigos.